Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bodina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife who is not Graham who's behind the camera. I am positive of that. Now um, today I am going to show you how to tune a severely out of tune violin with the pegs. And, and this is sort of like a something that generally only maybe semi-advanced to advanced sort of violin players will do for themselves but we're in COVID times and a lot of people including you know um, our students of our school can't come to their teachers to have their instruments tuned so this is a good opportunity to to learn how to do it i'm going to try to teach you how to do it safely i mean safely for the violin safely for your bridge safely in a few ways um, so let's let's give it a go. So this is a violin that now is severely out of tune. We had gremlins come in and they just went and turned the pegs. Very rude. So um, to tune that back up, the first step, which is a really important step, is to check that your bridge is completely vertical. See how my bridge is pretty much vertical? It's leaning very slightly back. I like for it to lean very, very slightly back. When I carve them, the bridges, I make them so they lean a tiny bit back so that they're not pulled by the strings forward as you tune at the pegs. So you make sure your, your bridge is vertical. If, for instance, your bridge looks like this, then um, if you try tuning with your pegs now, your bridge is likely to go and slap against the violin and quite often it will break, it'll break the bridge. Sometimes in very rare occasions, it can break the violin. You can get a crack. So we don't want that. So if the bridge is like that, you can't get to your teacher. You can't get to a shop. No one else can do it. And you really don't know that much about your violin. Then I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Don't blame me if it goes wrong, please. This is, this is like emergency, emergency, emergency work. Um, so, but, you know, hopefully if you follow my instructions, it shouldn't go wrong. To start with, you want to hold the bridge firmly in your left hand. See, I've got my two fingers on that side and I've got my thumb on this side of the bridge. And so that bridge is not going anywhere that I don't want it to go. Then I get my right hand and I grip the, grab the top of the bridge and I pull it back to vertical with, with this hand. And the other hand is there just to support the base of the bridge so it's not moving around. So now the bridge is pretty much vertical. And you can see it's vertical because the feet look like they're properly fitted to the body. Before, when it was leaning forward, the back half of the bridge, the feet didn't actually look like they were fitted to the body of the violin. Okay, so your bridge is perfectly vertical. That is a good start. I hope that worked out for you. Now, next step, with the strings that are majorly, majorly, majorly out of tune, you want to bring the fine tuners out. So often, the fine tuners will have, I'm just gonna demonstrate, will have come right down to the bottom, right down to touching the fine tuner, down to touching the tailpiece there. There is no more room for me to tighten that fine tuner. And so uh, if I now tune with the pegs, um, the next time it goes a little bit out of tune, I'm gonna have to tune with the pegs again because this fine tuner has got no room to be tuned. So first thing, if it's really, really out of tune, Bring that fine tuner all the way out, turning it anti-clockwise until it's just disengaged with the tailpiece and then tighten it a tiny bit so that at least it's engaged. Okay, so you're going to have plenty of room there with that fine tuner, so that's great. Next step, we're going to start trying to tune this A string peg this string has gone massively out of tune. So I have my piano next to me. You might have a, um, a, a tuner which makes an A, but you need to somehow find an A that you can reference to do this. You cannot use your tuning function on the tuner to tune this now because it won't recognize which note you're trying to tune. 
because um, at the moment when I pluck that, that's coming up saying it's a B. It has no idea what octave that note is in and what, um, and it's just, it's too far out of tune to be using the tune. So basically, to bring it up to tune, I want to find the A on my piano, and in my previous uh, videos I showed you how to find the A. So you play the A, and then it's important that as you tighten this A string peg, so you make sure you find the right the right peg for that string, that would be a disaster if you got the wrong string. So the A string goes up to this peg, it's important that when you're turning this peg, that you're pushing in as you're turning. A lot of people um, will come in and say, my peg's not working because I turn it in and then I push it in at the end and it just slips back. And that's what it'll do. It's important that you push in as you're turning and then when it comes up to the right note, it'll stay there. So that's a really important tip. Anyway, I'll bring it back and I'll play this A and we'll see if we can bring it up to exactly the same note. So, so I'm holding the violin neck like that and I'm plucking the string with my thumb. And as I'm plucking it with my thumb, I'm gonna bring it up to that note using the peg, pushing in as I go, very important. got up to the right note. There you go. And uh, maybe, I mean, it takes, it takes a really good ear to do this. Um, after, you've, after you've done that, you've got it up to the right note, you want to check your bridge again. It's really important that, just say you have a few strings that are out of tune, and then you tune one peg, and then you just go straight to tuning the next peg, you get your D and you start tuning, and then the G and the next one, your bridge could be going yeah, 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 and then so you, you don't want that. Now, after tuning that one, my bridge actually is very, very slightly leaning towards the peg box. So I'm gonna fix that up. Once again, I'm gripping down here, and I'm gonna pull it back very slightly. Okay, so that's, that's better. So now I'm gonna move on to the D string, which I also know is out of tune. Um, oh my gosh, it's massively out of tune. All right, so I'm going to bring out my D string fine tuner so it's as far out as it can go, which it is. So that's fine. If it was right down the bottom, I'd be untuning it, bringing it right out. And then I'm going to play the D string, the D on the piano, and then I'm going to pluck this time because the D string peg is on the left side of the peg box. I'm going to be plucking with my thumb on my right hand and turning with my turning the peg with my left hand. So I was pushing in as I went, and I found the pretty much the right note. Okay, so the, now the the D is pretty much in tune. The A is pretty much in tune. Um, now I've just tuned the D. So once again, you know, I'm going to check to make sure the the bridge is vertical, which it was, so that's fine. Now I'm going to check the other strings, which, but pretty much on this violin just then, it was just the A and the D that were majorly out of tune. So I'll check the E. Yeah, pretty close. Also pretty close. So they're all fairly much close to being in tune. The um, fine tuners on those ones that were majorly out of tune and now, now have plenty of room to do tuning and to do fine tuning with your tuner or going back to your piano to do some fine tuning. Your bridge is straight. The pegs, because you are pushing in as you are tuning, are solid and they're not going to suddenly slip out of tune. So it's all prepared for you to go back to video number one and two of this tuning escapade and, um, and do some proper fine tuning and make it all hopefully in tune. Now I hope this helped you and um, yeah, good luck getting through all this ridiculous COVID stuff. And um, I hope you get to a stage where you can get back to having lessons with your teacher or coming down to a shop so we can tune it for you because I like violins and I like tuning them. Thanks for watching.